So, no John, just me being raw and racist. Hey, yeah, that, that's my that's my true, true description. I'm gonna put that on fucking Tinder. Raw and racist. So Roma decided to sack Jose Mourinho in February in exchange for a club legend like Daniel De Rossi, who never really had a management offer before, like AS Roma. And he didn't do bad. He actually didn't do bad. But it ended up on bottling the Champions League places, even though Italy is one of two countries in Europe that have five Champions League spots. Y yeah. Five. It doesn't matter if Atalanta won the Europa League, they still qualified as fourth. And the fifth, uh, Bologna. Not Napoli, not the champions, not Lazio. Bologna. The club that recently stored a 34-year-old washed-up Marco Anadovic. So now I'll take them to the same thing that, I mean, you know, it's a rebuild video. You know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm dragging Roma, not just from fifth in Serie A this season. I'm getting them to a place they've never been before. A place they've been once in 1984 against Liverpool, but they never did. Never did the thing they were supposed to do. Win the Champions League. But this is a rebuild video, so you obviously knew that already. It's not like this guy exists, or this guy exists, or especially this guy exists. They've been about for years, and all I could do was wank over a pillow and make love to my toilet. You are. I'm not playing this formation. It doesn't matter how many compensations you buy me off. There is nothing in the world apart from a big pair of black tits that will make me use this formation intentionally. Let me get this straight. Uh, no striker on the bench, just an aging El Sharawi. The best centre back on the team, Chris Smalling, is on the reserves, not even being listed to play. Oh, yeah, the best save for last at the very last spot of the reserves. Tammy fucking Abraham, man that scored 30 goals for Rome in his first season. At the very last pick of every single player listed at Roma. And something called Cherubini. That's not a person. That is a flower shop in Wigan. And this does feel slightly more balanced. Not better by much. Point of strength. Find a right back that can defend and cross the ball. Because Christensen can't really tank it. Find a useful right winger that is not defensive minded like Karsdorp. And that can actually shoot the ball at the back of the net. And find someone less depressing than Stefan El Sharawi to be a left winger for the season. And if everything else fails, just find a better backup keeper than Milis Fila. As an immigrant myself, I dropped to the Mexican bargain bucket again as I do every single career build video. A perfect backup goalie, well look no further than Luis Malagon, the best keeper in the Mexican prison in Texas. He comes in for free, like all the Mexican immigrants that have been stuck in Texas not being able to see their families. Great to realize at the last couple of minutes of wandering the transfer targets. 80% of Roma's starting 11 and bench are low knees. All of these players are alone. I know Lukaku was definitely alone. So was Di Lorente, Renato Sanchez. I didn't realize that everyone else that I was about to mention to be in the starting level for the next couple of seasons were also loans. I, mean, I was ready to sell Sada Asmoon. And then I realized, nah, he's he just a bile of a fucking of accusing. That would have been fucking good dosh. He's, he's worth 20 million quid. Leon Woods. Who is this Australian midfielder? You don't really need to know. He's off to Wuhan Three Towns Football Club. At least one day, the 17-year-old kid will be able to go down Australian pubs and say, Hey, I played for Roma. Not, not really. He's just heading to China to, to play for, for, that, for that. I'm not even going to call that a club. That's disgusting. He is old, he has arthritis in both feet, and shocks the faces of children once he walks into a room because they fear they might be abducted. Is Angel Di Maria, now World Cup winner, comes to Roma. Yeah, that's 17 million pounds and I'm never gonna see you again, but uh, hey, hey, uh, at least he's 84. Fits in the right wing perfectly. It's fucking official. Rue Patrice is the fuck out of here. What? This transfer would have broken the fucking world in Italian football about like three years ago. Because back in 2021, Emil Smith Rowe was actually hot property. Because Rick Karsdorp goes the other way for 17 million pounds. Was would be amazing. This would be our signing world class fucking high talent potential on our footsteps, on our doorsteps, to be our left winger, to be our number 10. 
Even ahead of Paulo Dybala. You know, Arsenal have gone to challenge for titles while this guy is just playing bench simulator. We're handing him a shot. He's still 22. Easily starts ahead of Karsdorp, who's just a makeshift fullback and a dodge disgrace. You don't end up on the bench and you actually surprise me, Emil. Otherwise, you're getting st stuffed in in a box, sent back to North London as a fucking failure. Siaka Sika from Ivory Coast. That's a name I expect from someone that plays League of Legends. But for you, it just seems that you're a future legend. I just have to promote you to the senior team. If we didn't sign a goalie for the upcoming games in Syria season, we would have had Luis Maragon in Nets. And I don't plan to have an illegal immigrant just starting for us, otherwise he'll go to jail by Interpol. So we just swiftly away when signed Marco Karniseki from Atalanta, Hasemawa, and 37 million down the drain. Remember the classic Stephen Hawking quote, even if he is 99 rated, but he's 36, by the end of the season, he'll be ice cream. Don't contest me, contest Stephen Hawking. I'm glad what he did, even though more could have been done. We're fucking screwed if we don't do shit this season. Don't again my eye and see something on this weird ginger creature I call Ricardo Pagano. If they see something, they're saying something. Come on and party tonight. All tie CJ. You wanna buy them, not even alone. If you wanna buy them, they have something that I don't see at the moment. It might be an STD. I'm not taking my chances. I'm not selling them just for the sake of it. I have three STDs. People be jealous of me. This, this is... No. No. <laughs> this is like dangling fucking coke right beneath a drug addict. So the one I neglected the most was El Sharawi, hence why I brought in Emil Smith-Rowe to take his place. Younger, more vibrant, more skillful, everything better than El Sharawi could do. El Sharawi is the club's top scorer, scoring more than Romelu Lukaku. And to be fair, Pellegrini is chucking in with 11 goals too. I thought the El Sharawi talk about being good was done in 2012. Oh, by the way, look at all the fucking players we're going to be missing next season. And yeah, I've been scouting my country throughout its entirety. From Amazonas all the way to the floods in Rio Grande do Sul. Apart from the odd American Russell Gibbs. Holy shit. Gabriel Gonçalves. 2.2 million value and you, you're not even out of the academy yet. This man's on trial. He was probably a fucking high school by the time he came into trial for us. As a goalie... Yeah, get get yourself stuck into the fucking youth academy. You're gonna be a star lad. And then Eduardo Teixeira just comes in. Holy shit! These scouts are fucking mental. Shame that your brother Carlos Teixeira is about as talented as a one-legged ostrich. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. Every, every, everyone, stop panicking. Stop, stop fucking panicking. This is not Armageddon. Everyone, fucking shut up. A club that haven't sniffed in a title since 2001 one season in for jeremy penis the name of the manager if you if you don't know we win syria <laughs> holy shit we're syria champions with one season <laughs> one fucking season it was syria champions what the fuck happened no 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 we did the double we did the double we did the fucking double i'm done I'm fucking gone. This is like saying Tottenham won the Premier League in the FA Cup in the same season today. This this doesn't happen anymore. Roma don't win titles that often. This doesn't compute, yeah? But Enzo Pellegrini, the captain, ended the season with 18 goals and 7 assists. That, that's not much improvement on the levels that you would expect from a Serie A champion. You would expect Lukaku to go back to his form and bang in with his bold head and the touch of a fucking banana. El Sharawi scores 16. El fucking Sharawi. In the same season that Paolo Dybala scores 7. thing I, I'm gonna say because it was the, our defense that saved us from absolutely everything and gave us a double. Player of the year has to go for Marco Cus... 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 Marco... Karadniseki, 84 rated now at still just 23 years of age. Came in from Atalanta with not that much expectation, yeah? And now has resulted to being part of a League and Cup double for Roma. The last goalkeeper that did win the league for Roma is now 50. Empoli, Salernitana and Udinese relegated to Serie B. Cannot spare in my eyes a 4-3 win against AC Milan in the final and we lift the Coppa Italia. You believe that was a different story altogether. It's a German final between Uni Berlin and Leverkusen, which Xabi Alonso's man actually managed to win the thing instead of being raped 
seven times by Adam or Lookman. And Liverpool, the ones that would eventually get knocked out by Leverkusen in the semis, are the ones that knocked us out in 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 glorifyingly bad fashion. Seven two in aggregate, seriously. I'm not, I, I can't even complain in, in any in any level. <laughs> we won Syria. Rasmus Christensen to back to Leeds. Angelino back to Leipzig. Lukaku back to the doldrums of Stamford Bridge where he's hated all round. You can't be from Spain and your first name is Dean. And Sada Asmoon back to Leverkusen. All of them with the contracts running out on the loans and they're going back to their original clubs. So hopefully they get they give us more than a hundred million pounds to reformulate everything because we're gonna fucking need it. Hey yo, what the Genitalman it's just 3 a.m. I'm in a confined Airbnb space which inflicts in neighbors being annoyed even if I step my foot wrong in the floor. Patsu had just offered a good money for Leandro Paredes. He just turned 30. He's counting down the days until he's on a fucking box six feet under the ground. And him going to Lazio, to be honest, is the least of my fucking worries. It's a rival. It's a derby rival. It may be a title challenger. But what are they actually going to do with a 30-year-old Leandro Paredes heading to the fucking ground and death? You're telling me Festi e Bocele, that looks like he's eating his whole family, is first in quality. <laughs> When his rating is lower than Daniel James who plays at Leeds. He is 8 overalls less than Brian fucking Abuema. What do the Roma scouts believe I can turn out for this man? It's safe to say that Columbus crew want to offer Alfonso Correa on a transfer offer for £500,000. It might see something in him. When you bid for my player, it's a simple case of what if. What if he turns out to be the next fucking best fucking potential player as Jesus Christ himself. I cannot take that risk with anyone that comes out of my youth academy. They're all fucking gems by, the ju by just being there. But if they, you know, turn 24 and they haven't scored a goal in their entire career. I mean, what what else can I do other than chuck them into a ditch? Tammy Abraham currently does not have a starting spot in, in any sense of the word. We can get a hefty fee out of someone like him, especially with the English hype and especially for being a minority. But Dybala doesn't want to be here anymore. And I'm mega fucking tempted for by this offer, but this is my first time that I actually use my brain for a change. We need time to constantly rearrange these scenarios and make them, make them believable. Who the fuck am I kidding? It's Tammy fucking Abraham. Let's just sell the fucker. We just sold Tammy Abraham, arguably the best number two striker in Italian football, and we respond by signing a fucking old man. 33-year-old Kieran Trippier from Newcastle. He's good overall now. He's amazing to be crucial right back for any fucking team. And an eight business signing on an excellent deal according to the fucking game. Still leaves me intrigued onto the fact that I, I ain't sure on how the fuck he's gonna decline throughout this season. He's just gonna, it's just like Demary, he's gonna be good for one season and that's it. But surprise, surprise, on the same day we actually pulled off a fucking coup if he learns how to defend like he used to do at RB Leipzig. Hey, Opa Meccano from Bayern Munich for 53 million. And to be fair, for a player of his fucking caliber at 25, that's amazing. <laughs> As you know, this modern era of fucking transfer offers, 50 million doesn't buy you Lewis Dunk. 50 million doesn't buy you James Tarkowski. 50 million doesn't even fucking buy you Sean Longstaff out of Newcastle. For someone like Pamecano to partner Gianluca Mancini in the middle of the park is amazing. So that, you know, that also means that uh, the funeral to Chris Mullings from a career is it, surely getting ready to be planned. As soon as he saw another overperforming younger model black man walking into that fucking Roma pitch, he knew his days are numbered. He already knew. It's just like every single episode of Blacked. Fucking asked me how Bayern are just letting these people go at such fire pace in so it's such a little fucking transfer fee because they just agreed on Alfonso Davies being taken away from their possession for 54 million. 54 fucking million for one of the best left backs in the world. I mean, he did have one year left in his deal, but it's Alfonso Davies. It's fucking Alfonso Davies. Oh no, don't say that name. No, no, no. Ah. Oh. Do you have eyes, right? Yeah, you know, like, unless you're wearing glasses or some shit, because you, you can clearly see what the fuck happened once we sell Abraham. That's what we have to deal with up front. Some fucking Russian terrorist called Shodomodonov. Don't fucking ask anything, and we won't be in trouble. Okay, honey? Alright, Champions League adventure, something that Roma are clearly used to not having anymore. This matchup against Atletico Madrid is already giving me the shit taking every single bit of molecule inside me and making me scared on my bones 
as if I'm gonna shit myself. This squatting ready for it. <laughs> We're gonna get so fucking peppered. That wasn't supposed to happen. That nah, that was more like the time for me to cry on, on the fucking pitch as we lose 4-0 away to Atletico Madrid. But, but okay, okay, I'll... Uh, I'll let you off on that front for now. All right, Atletico, make me have regrets of actually believing that we can go through this tie because now we can decide it at home. Just, just make me regret it. Hand it over to me and don't be scared to actually rape us. No, no, it wasn't a rape, but as uncomfortable as one, sure. Because Roma fans have been forced to actually travel to the Stadio Olimpico and see a fucking shit show. All decided by an Andre fucking Rabio 51st minute goal that sent us out okay <laughs> okay okay <laughs> so this 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 is really a year of weird things happening all around the world that scoreline right there and uh, in, in paris that that shouldn't happen this is wrong i'm seeing things i'm got i'm i'm on drugs i'm not seeing that aston villa beat psg by four goals to one that that, that didn't happen yeah uh, Inter Milan, no fucking questions asked, just like this season. They ran away with it. Getting second in the league is a fucking miracle. Let's try a one league title. That's already horrendous enough to believe. That concludes the chapter of stuff in El Shirai's life. He's gonna die next season because of starvation and a bad haircut. It's just Lorenzo Pellegrini carry us for our fucking objective. Not even Messi performed to the standard. Emil Smith Rowe has had actually a quiet good season and Bellotti as well. Fucking Bellotti had an amazing season. And for anyone who cares, Sabdoria, Cremonense and Frozenone. Fro 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 Sorry ragazzi. We all go down and Parma stay up. Happy for them. No one in the Coppa Italia, Juventus win that against Inter Milan 4-2. At least the silverware, it's a piece of trophy. It's a trophy. It's the Super Cup, but it's a trophy. No. No. This is going to be a Champions League that I'm not going to cover the winner. Because I cannot accept neither of these teams to hand over that big, glorious trophy. I cannot live in the world where RB Leipzig or Arsenal will have the hands on that majestic thing in the middle. Whilst Napoli and Borussia Dortmund play what it looks like a Champions League final in the Europa League final. And the Conference League finals against Eintracht Frankfurt and Feyenoord. Another final that actually has more prestige than the one shown in the Champions League. And like every season, now we send goodbyes to the old guard. Chris Smalling, there was no clubs just wanting to get a piece of that signature. He's off to be a free agent and no job included. And the story of El Sharari comes to a, fi a fitting end, winning the Syria and now heading to unemployment, going to work down a bank. But if you go working down the bank with that fucking trim, you're going to be bullied until your parents tell them to stop. And Andrea Bellotti signing off a career in Roma with 16 goals in the season. So I'm quite fond of the man and I wish to have him in bed with me. Diamond! Season 3 is beginning with a transfer offer for a 34-year-old Kieran Trippier back to Spurs. Last time Kieran Trippier played for Spurs was in a Champions League final. But 18 million, I reckon, is still not enough. If we could cash in on a cash cow like him for more than 20 million, we've struck fucking diamond. I'll start off by just settling 20 million. Simply put, uh, Ange, big Ange. Stop with the fucking beers, or, or do continue with the beers, please, because I want you as drunk as you can be to accept this offer. Oh. You're so drunk. All right, picturing this. Messi comes off to a rating now that is not sustainable to keep him in touch at all. Ronaldo retiring, this is probably the season that Messi considers before actually retiring because it's rare to see any player in this game to arrive at 40 and still playing. 37 million plus Messi's market value plus a sell-on clause to get Rasmus Hoyland out of Manchester United. Eric? Whatever drugs Anch was smoking to buy Kieran Trippier, please fulfill my fantasy. Yeah, he, he is truly on drugs. I think I'm going to accept 48. Yeah. Every single manager that's just... They, they have all... I don't fucking know how this has got pulled off. Rasmus... No, this is not Rasmus... Uh, just, just... No, no, the other guy. That's not him. I don't even know who that is. Rasmus Hoyland on a swap deal for Lionel Messi and 48 million. Holy shit. Too much getting a similar overall to Messi. But he's just gonna grow because he's 22. Wages are not bad. The transfer sum was not bad. Because I came in, offered 40 million. Then I came back on a week and then offered 30 and they still accept it. Bruv, what the fuck? By the way, the man is, wait for it, 
83. It shows 84, but he's actually 83. And since the Mourinho's retirement, we didn't have any fucking plans for a right winger. And to get this amazing fucking dribbler, an ex Tottenham Academy graduate, for only 35 million. 35 million? King of fucking budgeting this shit. Gertruida, 48 million, and half of a budget being cut. And we don't have enough for a number 10. We just don't. By the way, for context for John, uh, Davies was signed on a budget it was really cheap so was the pamecano i think both of them were 50 million each i signed K kaneseki in the first season and he pretty much hand delivered us the title i'd rather improve the bench instead of wanting to focus on the number 10. andreas showed up 26 million and offers on three different roles that all we needed for a, be a perfect bench player oh shit! hey look at the fucking stats on this Kid. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, to be fair, all the good stats are like, or like dribbling or pace. So he basically just dribbles. When he gets in front of goal, he will shoot it to to a corner. Uh, if he passes, he'll pass it to the stands. You cannot work this through, right? We're making the next Fernando Torres. Liverpool fan on the Taurus, by the way. Okay, we signed so many fucking players in this transfer window, I cannot bear to catch up. But now the average age of the squad actually got down massively. We got rid of Messi before Messi got shit. And looking at the squad now is just filling with optimism, but only one turn to get out of bad luck and we can actually get sacked. Even though the squad looks a lot better. Ah! I mean, it's fine. Fucking Grealish. Grealish. Fucking Grealish. <laughs> the worst thing is they expect us to get to the Champions League semi-final. So whatever we do against Bayern, it, we, they're gonna sack us anyway. Pellegrini. Pe Pellegrini. 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 You're the fucking leader of this revolution. You can't miss a penalty. At a time like this, you might cost me my job. I'm going to the job center because of you. I'm going to live under a bridge because of you. I'm going to be forced to eat my own dog out of boredom and out of starvation because of you. Oh no, a man named Jason's calling me again. I'm gonna decline. <laughs> we lose the league again, but this time on a five point gap to AC Milan. Uh, it's, it's, it ain't. It ain't terrible, but on the fixture of things that the manager sack rating is still on the dislike ratio, it could be, it could be settling us for shit fourth season again. Fucking hell, someone please stop sending me messages. See, you're important. There are people that care about must be nice. We scored more goals than AC Milan and we held the same defense. We had a better goal difference, but it's just on the term of winning games, we didn't win enough. Not even the Super Cup. <laughs> <laughs> and the Coppa Italia was just a Milanese derby. <laughs> why? 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 Why did Arsenal reach a, a second Champions League final in a row? How? How's this an Europa League final? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, United for the law. I wanna, I wanna see who wins this final. If Vittorio Guimarães beat Man United. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. Ah, Vittorio Guimarães. What? Ah, all you had to do is just put a win on the board and you'd got an international trophy and be the biggest laughing stock in English football. I mean, I, I don't live that far from Portugal, so if you want a sex tape on me fucking the Vittorio Guimarães stadium toilet, uh, you can check down below for OnlyFans. <laughs> Oh shit! The Roma board is doing nice! What the fuck? Listen. 200 million. T 200. 200 fucking million. Oh bruv, today I'm gonna go mental. Season 4 is gonna be ballistic. And that finally means... The reign of Baldanzi is over. Fuck you. Get to the fucking bench, Italian fucked hard, because Bove is even better than you. Look at Bove's stats. A bunch of rude hole. <laughs> Although our signings from last season, Gertrude and Marcus Edwards, they're not going to grow as much in overall. I don't want to get rid of him anyway. And as I, sa I said, I I'll say it again. At 20 years old, Gomez is the new Fernando Torres. Aha. 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 Reach the fucking final. Aha. Aha. 
Ah, we can't do that shit. Fuck you. John Costa actually thought he had a future at Roma. He was the one of the original ones that started with us throughout all this shit. He has to put Tuna Dusseldorf at about fucking time. You ain't playing for this club ever again. I I I'm sorry. When did Fulham arrive with that much money on their hands? And on a swap deal with another player? Oh, Hitafi already want to have a bit of sense of the Christian Gomez, aka future Fernando Torres, aka the Spanish Pussy Slayer. So many transfer offers this time is just because I want to send out a lot of youth players on loan and I want to sell some dead wood but at the same time I want to sell some of the youth academy players the original youth academy players that are already like 21 22 are not going to rather their potential because one of our objectives is to actually sell a shit ton of youth academy players for a big profit so the club feels like we're making money out of these out of these fucking sensationalist deals so on that regard if for me to not get sacked I need to sell a couple of youth players tell you this right if we can get the 77 million promised by the scouts and by the directors and shit, Luthrell Guthrie, I'm about to go ham and sign a world class right back as well. They accepted. I, I, th I think that was the wrong move. What the fuck have I done? We hit the fucking banger on the market with this midfield signing. Enzo! That's not Enzo. Enzo fucking Fernandez. 148 million. Roma's record signing. Oh boy. Did our midfield just get upgraded to the next level? Listen, he may might he may be older, uh, one year older than Gertrida, but the overall speaks for itself and the pedigree that we might try to bring this season. Yeah, he fucking left. Did you need to keep on reminding me on the flashbacks? Pedro Pojo. From Spurs, 72 million pounds. A bit more expensive than Gautorida, but two overalls higher. Even though it wasn't that good of a business, it, it's still an improvement on some sorts of way. Some sorts way. I don't know how long this team will be able to keep on pushing on, pushing forward with results if we don't deliver trophies. Because if it will come to a certain time that they will see overalls are improving. The wage bill's going up for no apparent reason if we don't win trophies, yeah? This needs to change and needs to change now. I'm finna simulate this all automatically. I, I feel like manually I've just hit being given a fucking curse. On the back of three wins, one in the cup against our swallow. Let these, let this just be it. A draw. A tour draw. Fuck's sake. Yes! 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 We did it! We did it! We beat Barcelona! And we beat Inter Milan! Yes! Yes! Ah! Ah! Manchester United, who topped us in the group. Oh shit. We lost AC Milan, that's gonna hurt us in the title race. Holy shit, we might not even be in the top four. Boom! Away win at Old Trafford! Away win at Old Trafford! Away win at Old Trafford! Gotta do a homework! Yes! 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 Semi-finals! Oh shit! We're out of the cup. Who, who's it against? PSG. Ooh, we meet Mbappe. We meet Mbappe in the semi-finals. Everyone's still alive? Ooh, I mean, kinda. One could only pray. That one, it's me. Oh my god. Holy shit. What happened? What? What? We even beat them 2-0 in Paris. We beat them 2-0 in Paris. What the fuck happened in Rome? What the fuck? Why? Why? We beat them in Paris. We won 2 new in Paris. That should have sent us straight away. That should have, should have sent us to the final anyway. What the fuck happened? Oh, Roma grab a year for Chelsea's each place. Ah, oh, the headline. The headline. The year headline saves us. Oh, it, it, had, it had to be close. Let, let's be Palmer, please. Thank you. Thank you. We finished the season with a win. We finished the 26, 27. It must have been close. So fucking close. I'm thinking it. I mean, kind of close. We finished third ahead of Inter Milan. Tense at the wrong end of the roller coaster of emotions. Finished the season with pensive sadness and a whole lot of stress. And in desperate need of a vodka. Inter Milan won the title, Juventus second, and we finished level one points with Inter Milan. Luckily though, four points ahead of Napoli who finished fifth. Coppitaia was won by Inter Milan who did knock us out of the semis. Same final in the Super Cup with Inter knocking us out again, but Juventus managed to win that thing. PSG weren't even the champions. We still need to get over the line against Man City and we need to fight against the fucking oil money freak giants of the so of the Saudi desert. All the Middle Easterns having the fun and we're just settling for the semi-finals. How fucking grandioso. The Europa League looks like the Champions League every single 
single day of the year that comes by. Liverpool win that ahead of Bayern Munich. Newcastle get their first taste of European success on the Conference League and beating a surprise fucking underdog in Portuguese side Rio Ave. As we said all our goodbyes to Zeki Zelic, has been with the club for so long, now the backup right back finally goes off to better things. And Marash Kumbula, not even a reserve, not even a bench centre back, he was, was a reserve, wasn't even being called up for matches. He's now fuck finally leaving. Not gonna miss these two, but can't say was warned that they weren't gonna have the best time on my management. Boha! Davi! Carajo! Now we still be postponed on a 90 rated Pellegrini being captain, a 91 rated Kaz Kaneseki, Hoyland going to an 88, Davies to 89, Opamecano kind of stalled, but Mancini, who started with us, 87. This squad is way too good to not win a trophy. I say this with all my fucking heart. This squad is too good to not win a trophy all season. A Champions League semi-final last season on a nightmare against PSG made me think about it. If we can't be champions, fucking steal from the champions. It's like stealing from a rich kid that constantly bullies you in the playground. That was very specific. Could that have happened to you, maybe? One of these things happened. Because I never, I never got my head stuck in the toilet. Unless, I mean, I mean, I did put my head on the toilet just to see how it was like. <laughs> but, I did, but I did that myself. With my own intuition and my own decision. So a bully killed your stabbed your mom while you being an adult. That's pretty Ma nice. I mean stepmom. Oh oh yeah, we also signed Rodrigo from Man City. They had two right wingers on the cusp of 90 rating. Phil Foden and Rodrigo. Rodrigo's a year younger than Foden, but the glory of the scouting network that is me searching for players manually. His deal at Man City was just a year off expiring. So we got him on 121 million pounds when his market value is 20 million more. Could have been better? Yeah. Look at the best possible deal. I fucked this up right up a tree. The poor out of the picture. And now a scouser comes into Panel Italiani. I don't want, I don't want to see Trent trying to speak Italian, but he comes in for 102 million. I don't want to play, but at the same time, it still freaks me out that this might be my last season of true hope. Yeah, I could do. You could convert him to a center mid. 91 passing, CM, four weeks. I take it. So now we need to sign a new right back. Yeah, basically. The name of the manager. Jeremy Penis. Us converting Trent to a midfielder allowed us to sign a new right back. Just bring in the old English, Reese James now, for nearly enough 100 million from Juventus, whilst we have a match against Juventus in about four days. You did not just bring two English players, two English right backs. It injured Reese, and could, we could all could live happily ever after. <laughs> and I won't murder your father. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, with no center backs in place, we finally found a replacement for the injured Pamecano. That might be a recurring theme for the season. Stefan Vogt, uh, regen that just come out of Brentford's ass. The 34 million plus a sell on course, at least a decent business deal. But honestly, you're gonna come in clutch for a long time this season. Have good potential. I'm gonna murder your family. <laughs> $32. <laughs> $32. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. Think about how many Big Macs you could buy with that. Seven, Macs. seven. You can buy seven burgers. Form to the Champions League round of 16 tie with Villarreal. All right, we did go ahead in the cup against Monza, but we did lose Torino at home. <coughs> all right, all right. Rodrigo with the double, beat Villarreal, dominated the match. Okay, okay, we go, we go. Oh my God. You're playing like oh. that against Villarreal. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, had to be Juve. It had to be Juve. We're going to face them at some point. Might as well face them now. Ragazzi. Ragazzi, ragazzi. It's time. Right. Ragazzi, thank you. But, uh, it's never going to end. This rebuild's never going to end. Yeah. This, this rebuild's never going to end. I started this save file just to, for me to portray the likeness that I have for rebuilding a club. I'm going through rough times, and now I'll go through rough times myself. This is a prison sentence to me. If you win this game, what, what will you do? I'm, go, I'm going, I'm go going, I'm going, I'm going on my knees. I'm going on my knees. I, I'll, I'll see. Close your eyes. I will no, take no, 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 you're not. For the Pope, all the state of Vatican City, for all of Rome, bless us. Yes! 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 
have been answered! The prayers have been answered! <laughs> Enzo Fernandez, I fucking love you! Enzo Fernandez, Enzo Fernandez! Can I shock his past 10? Oh my god! It wasn't green. We got went we went through and now it's orange. Same team that eliminated us in the first round of 16 that we competed in this rebuild. <laughs> oh my god! Boss, we're gonna do it! Like, actually, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We have to. We have to! <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Emil Smith Rowe, we rescued him away from Arsenal. Rodrigo! Emil with the double. To be 2 0, to be 2 1 down. Add home to Juventus. And go on the run that we did. Knocking out the teams that we did. Holy shit. We have the Pope on our side. And of course, it's the team that knocked us out in the semi finals last year. Paris Saint Germain. Ooh. <laughs> 94 points! Arguably, not arguably, scientifically, mathematically, the best season in Roma's history. Champions with two losses all season, 94 fucking points. 15 ahead of second place AC Milan. Fuck you, Juventus. Look at him, he's being in third. A chance, boys. No. Olympic Stadion in Germany. It's our time. It is our time. a finish line I wave race we were made to ride you and I were first in line and we took them by surprise I was with you all the time you may not realize but I Yeah. 